Hello and welcome to your preview of Training to Go modules presented by Technical Sales and Consulting. At the end of the preview, we will provide how to access more information about our training products. Thanks for visiting and we hope you enjoy the preview. NEC Article 1109 requires circuit protection equipment to have an interrupting rating sufficient for the available current. There are two ways to achieve this requirement, the full rating method and the series rating method. The full rating method, as seen here, requires all circuit protective devices to have an interrupting rating equal to or greater than the available fault current. This means that in the case of a building with a 65,000 amperes of fault current available at the service entrance, every circuit breaker must have interrupting ratings of at least 65,000 amperes. The second method illustrated here is to select circuit breakers with a series combination rating equal to or greater than the available fault current at the service entrance. The series rated concept requires the main breaker to have an interrupting rating equal to or greater than the available fault current of the system, but subsequent downstream breakers connected in series can be rated at lower values. Series combinations must be tested to UL489 and be from the same manufacturer. These are selected from the approved UL listing designated in the manufacturer's catalog information. For example, a building with 65,000 amperes of available fault current might only need a breaker at the service entrance to have an interrupting rating of 65,000 amps. Additional downstream breakers can be rated at lower values. This will reduce the initial cost because the downstream breakers are not fully rated for the prospective short circuit fault current at their point of application. Here is an example of how the panel board would look using the series rated concept. The main breaker shown is 65,000 amps and the feeder breakers are all 14,000 amps. Hi, we hope you enjoyed the sample video of our online e-learning module. This clip is from one of our many available modules. We are always working on new modules, but here is the current list of developed lessons. Low voltage motor control molded case circuit breakers, insulated case circuit breakers, low voltage power breakers, medium voltage switch gear, medium voltage control, motor control centers, transformers, contactors, operators devices, protective relays, and lastly variable frequency drives. Outlines pricing Previews and requests for information are available at tsnc.com slash e-learning. Let our training to go programs train your people while you run your business.